Hey all, so this is my most recent thrift store find. It's a Louis Vuitton purse. I got it for $4. I don't think they understood what it's actually worth. I mean, the handles were kind of falling off. I just sewed them back on, which probably defaces the worth, but whatever. It's for my own personal use anyways and for my own collection. So first, I'm putting my wallet in, and I get it from the Bling Bling Lady. Um, it's a shop that's like, I don't know, about half an hour from my house. And then just some feminine hygiene products. Which, by the way, I'm switching out from a lounge fly to a Louie. Then I have my spacer for my um, asthma attacks. If you're wondering what I did to my wrist, it's the doctor said it could be nerve damage, it could be carpal tunnel, they don't know. So your guess is it's as good as mine. Next, I have my prescription for um, nausea medication due to my POTS syndrome. That's why I kept looking up at the camera because I realized that it kind of had my information on it and I was hoping that it didn't show, which as I watched this back, it did not. Then I have one of two of my portable chargers. And a hand lotion. Next are some sunglasses, but I just pulled them out and set them to the side. After I decided what to do with them, I decided that I'm going to just put them with my tote of sunglasses that's sitting on my desk at the moment. Then I have a mini inhaler, which is easier to store my purse. I'm going to be honest, when I have asthma issues, I don't even use my inhaler half the time. It's a toxic habit. Then I have some receipts again, and I found my Tylenol, which I left out to be able to take after this video because of my wrist. And then this is, I'm assuming, my nausea medication that had to have fell out of that little baggie, so I just kind of put it in there for now. Then I have my second portable charger. I always carry two because my best friend that's like a sister to me, she never charges her phone and I never charge mine, so I may as well carry two. Then I have just some candy from my front pocket of my lounge fly backpack because with my pot syndrome, I like apparently there's um, salt in chocolate and the salt from the chocolate tends to help my pot syndrome. It makes me feel much better and by the way, yes, I know my nails are crusty, but I'm trying to get all my acrylics off at the moment. And then I shook out my bag to see if there's anything in it. I heard some change moving around and I was really confused. Because I felt in both of them side pockets for anything extra. And I didn't feel anything with my hand when I had originally put my hand in there. But apparently it was just kind of like sideways in there somehow. To where like I put my hand down and my fingers didn't feel it. Then I took it out and finally I felt there was nothing in there. Only the zippers flapping on the front of it. And then I just grabbed up all the change in my hands and showed you guys the change. And I honestly considered putting it into my wallet for like right now and putting it in the zipper part, but honestly I never use change. I always use Apple Pay, so I ended up putting it in my drawer and zipping up my purse. So yeah, that's been me switching out my bag from Loungefly to Louis V.